uh, group who you come in and there's other people there and everybody's going through the same thing. So it's all very supportive. Um, yeah. And uh, if, like I said, if anybody has any questions, uh, do come and talk to me. I have, um, I, I also have some flyers and some vouchers uh, for people to, you know, if you know anybody who's interested, I can give you a voucher and we'll give them, um, they can join for a pound. Um, and we're here in this room uh, on Thursday mornings from 8 until 1, 8.30 till 1. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that is community outreach network. And it's a faith based organization. Uh, what we have uh, realized that um, uh, church, we do promote spiritual things. So when it, when it comes to matters like health, you know, it is, we are quiet on that. We don't take it seriously. So we believe that we can come together, uh, this uh, uh, faith, and you know, trying to promote health matters like HIV, uh, HIV uh, cancer, and, and so on. And so far, we've been holding um, health awareness in Sadok, Lambeth, and uh, Crowding Blocks. At least we are doing something uh, in the communities. Uh, we are here also to support the program and to learn more about what Asian Black is doing so that we can also uh, do the same in our various places. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of the things that you know, found there on the foundation, and we work mainly with the West African community. What we do is we provide a support for those living with HIV and AIDS. Because of the stigma attached to, especially among the West African community, we tend to build their confidence out. And we also do an awareness program whereby we let, we let the public be aware that HIV is a, something rare. When you're taking a role, HIV is safe, but it's not rare. It's there. But you need to take some precautions to maybe stay out. It's not something that one can say that I got HIV through this. It may not be your fault. The African, among the African communities. Before one came here to maybe blood transfusion or other means that have been infected with HIV, that doesn't mean this person got it only through sexual behavior. That's what we Africans tend to, and this is what we are there for, trying to educate the public so that they can change their mindset on how one um, is affected or infected with HIV. And when our connect was talking about the testing. You see that the place was quiet because no one wants to do anything about HIV. Mm -hmm. Let alone be going for testing. But the good news is these days, there is medicine there are for HIV. The earlier you guys know of it and start medication, the better it will be for you. They have developed medication in such a standard. These days, one with HIV could have such a relationship with someone negative and the other person not being infected with HIV, provided this person with some medication. So the earlier you know your status, the better it will be. You can live a normal life. So why don't you just go and do the testing? We did a testing program with THT some time ago, and all those people came over, eventually turned around to say, hey, thank you for giving us the opportunity. You never knew, you could be negative, but because of the fear. Who are you fearing of? Yourself or me, you are not there to please. I keep telling my group, you live your life to please yourself, not the next guy or your family member. It's you. When you are born, they will be living. So why don't you take the precaution now and go for a test? The other foundation is based in Peckham. We got some, if you can see, uh, dress home. So just take one. If you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, just introduce them to.